Go to some breaking news in Granada Hills, where LAPD officers are, we're told, raiding a problem property. As you saw first right here on CBS2. Yeah, Desmond Shaw live overhead in Sky 2 with all the details for us now. Desmond? So Susie and Jeff, they're out here looking for potentially stolen property, and this all began with the aerial shots that we brought you, as well as a big investigation by Christine Lazar into this uh, huge lot that has really been vexing residents in Granada Hills. Reports of people uh, living up here, starting fires, coming down to the neighborhoods, potentially breaking into people's cars. So after that investigation, there was actually a stolen vehicle up here that a viewer was able to identify, said, hey, that's my vehicle. It was reported stolen. So once LAPD came and got that, that was enough for a judge to give LAPD a permission to come up onto this lot and do at, scour the property for anything else that may be stolen. They've been going through all of these uh, large containers, and obviously they're looking at the title for all of these vehicles. I counted more than 25 vehicles and RVs up here as well, and we also wonder what they're going to do, if anything, about this bus that's been hanging over the hillside. It was the very first thing I saw and really kind of got the wheels turning on this whole investigation, which is now culminated into a big raid by LAPD high in the hills of Granada Hills. Live at Sky 2 overhead, I'm Desmond Shaw, Jeff and Susie. Back to you in the studio. Okay, Des, thank you. We have more on this story tonight. Christine Lazar started covering this story last week. It is a property that the city of Los Angeles ordered the homeowner to clean up. That property is filled with trash, storage containers, RVs, even a bus hanging off the hillside. After we contacted those city officials about the growing encampment, and building and safety then went out and inspected the property. And neighbors say they've complained to the city and police about it for months. Why did it take a news story for them to do something? I mean, the community here has been dealing with this for at least a year. I think there's just a lot of bureaucracy due to the pandemic and a lot of red tape that's been put in place. And unfortunately, people that do this to their properties just aren't being held accountable right now. Well, last week, the owner told us that he was working to comply with the order. But obviously, police have now taken matters into their own hands.